Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're looking at the slope of a ramp and this is information for building. Okay, first you're going to see the format describing the slope of a ramp as a ratio. Sometimes the ratio is going to be a 1 to 12 which means the rise vertically of 1 to a run of horizontally of 12 or sometimes you'll see it um, as a 1 to 16 so that's going to look more like this for every inch you rise you're going to run 16 inches okay um, so those are the two kind of options that we're shooting for um, in general we prefer a 1 to 16 ratio because as you notice the ramp of a 1 to 16 ratio is not as steep it's a little more shallow so it's a little bit easier to pull things up the ramp with this shallower um, ramp angle. Okay, so let's look at an example of how you would use that to figure out the length of your ramp. Okay, if you have a deck that's 32 inches off the ground, how long should the ramp be built to, so that it's in a, both a 1 to 12 ratio and a 1 to 16 ratio? Okay, that means my, I'm going to draw two similar triangles here. I'm going to draw a 1 to 12 ratio and that's my my basic formula. Now my my deck is going to be 30 inches tall and I need to know how long I need to make that ramp. So I'm going to call that X and then I'm going to just set up a proportion. I'm going to set up 1 inch to 12 because that is the ratio I'm trying to find and I would set it up as 30 over X, so 30 over X. Okay, now from here to solve it, we just do a cross product. So we take 12 times 30, and we get 360, and then X times one, or one X. So that means my ramp needs to be 360 inches long vertically okay so that's our horizontally so that's this distance here 360 inches that would be a 1 to 12 ratio now let's see maybe we have a little bit more room than 360 inches let's see what the ramps length would be with the more preferred 1 to 16 ratio okay let's draw another triangle and we're gonna write it as 1 to 16 so every vertical rise of one inch will be a horizontal uh, run of 16. The same height for my deck, still 30 inches tall, and the length is still unknown. We don't know how long it needs to be. Now let's set up a proportion. So this one is going to be 1 to 16 is equal to 30 is to x. And again, we do a cross product. So I'm going to take 16 on my calculator, and I'm going to multiply it by 30 to do my cross product. 16 times 30, and I get 480. So that's 480, and x times 1 is just x. So that means it's 480 inches long. Now, that's fine and dandy, but how many feet would that be? Well, how do you convert our inches back to feet? Where they're 12 inches and a foot, so I'm just going to take 480 and divide it by 12. So take that, divide it by 12, and that gives me 40 feet. So this ramp, I have to have 40 feet to fit in the 1 to 16 ratio versus the 30, 360 degrees. I need 360 divided by 12 is 30 feet. So to convert it back to feet, you just divide by 12. And let's say I have 32 feet. Well, I'm going to have to go with the 1 to 12 ratio because I need 40 feet to, draw, to build the 1 to 16 ratio. There you go. That's how you find the slope of a ramp and how you use these two ratios to calculate how long that ramp needs to be. Thank you.